Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another video, this time we're taking a quick break from all the FNAF news, because even though we've gotten a bunch of traditional FNAF news and announcements recently, we've also gotten just as many brand new merchandise announcements and also arrivals of said brand new merchandise. In fact, today I got in the mail, finally, my Fanverse U2's figures, which is what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video, as well as all of the U2's Chibi Plus because those guys also arrived the other day and also just a few other U2's FNAF figures that I don't think I've talked about just yet. So honestly, we got a bunch of really cool products to look at today. So if you're brand new, consider subscribing. Also hit the like button while you're down there. And now let's kick this video off by taking a look at the brand new Fazbear Fanverse U2's figures, which first and foremost, I want to give a massive thank you to U2's and also Kane for sending me all three of the Fanverse figures for free. They're not paying me to make a video on these bad boys, but again, they sent it to me for free. So the least I can do is tell you guys to go check out U2s.com. They actually just released a brand new FNAF wave, including Golden Freddy, Springtrap, William Afton, and also the Purple Guy Sprite. And from the sound of things, it doesn't sound like they're going to be slowing down with their FNAF products anytime soon. So again, not technically sponsored, I'm not being paid to say any of this, but they did send me these guys for free. So again, the least I can do is give them a quick plug. And since we've got them right here, let's first check out Pop Goes the Weasel from Pop Goes. So this is the sleeve for Pop Goes the Weasel. As you can see on the sides, you've got the the Pop Goes Pizzeria, Pop Goes Looming in a Doorway on the back. Last side, and now let's pull this bad boy out of his sleeve. <gasps> look at the dude. Oh my gosh, Pop Goes, look, it's Google. <laughs> Gonna be a really reflective box, but look at the lad. We will be opening each of the figures in today's video. Look at that. Just to get a better look at them on the back, you can see the arcade machine. Current objective, open this box. I believe that's a reference to Pop Goes Arcade. Pop, and his quote on the inside of the box is Black Rabbit, not included. Hopefully at some point down the line we do get a Black Rabbit figure because I would love that. How cool would it be to see like the villains of the fanverse, like Monster Rat for Candies, Black Rabbit or Simon for Pop Goes, Creation for T-Jock, like come on, that's such a good wave. This is my first time opening this guy because I got him today. But look at him! Oh my gosh, he looks so, so freaking good. I love him so much. He's got an awesome pose, holding his mic, doing the little finger guns. Spin him around, he's got his little tail buckle at the back on his vest. <laughs> the detail on him is just so good. I love my little weasel boy. Look! Oh, he even stands on his top hat! Just as Kane promised. This is perfect. <laughs> so that is a look at the Pop Goes figure. Again, I just freaking absolutely adore this guy. On the inside of his box too, I'm not sure how well you can see that with the reflection. It's got the arcade room, I believe, from Pop Goes Evergreen. And now we move on to Candy the Cat from Five Nights at Candy's. This is one of the cameras. I can't remember exactly which one, but it's got the decorative trees. There's him standing in the office doorway. And on the other side, you've got what looks to be a bulletin board. Look at the lad. I'm gonna say that with, with each one, but look at the lad. This is Candy the Cat. Look at him up on stage. Oh, that might actually be the stage. That, that would make sense. The animatronics do have a few minor glitches. Yeah, uh, we're of course trying to get them fixed. I'll take your word for it. Soon. <laughs> oh, who's that? Looks like we got some little feet there. Whose feet are those? And the quote on the inside of the box is some binary. And I believe I was told this is actually a reference to one of the original teasers for the first FNAC game. And I think this just translates to F, but I believe the full reference in the teaser has like F-N-A-C. This is also my first time opening up candy. <laughs> Oh my god, I freaking love them. Honestly, it's still crazy to me that the fanverse is actually getting merchandise. Especially merchandise that's like so, so high quality. Here's his back. He looks awesome. I love his pose. He's got his cute little tie. Cool tail at the back. He honestly just looks so, so freaking good. And also, fun fact about this figure on the inside is the office. And you can see the Cindy poster says candy. So a little bit of an error on U2's part, but you can also see a candy and Cindy plushie in the office. Looks so, so good. So that is our boy Candy. And now, last but not least, for the fanverse, let's hop over to T-Jock with Ignited Freddy. Now, unfortunately, my Ignited Freddy figure was pretty damaged in the shipping process. It even went through the protective case. You can see just how busted up it is. Uh, I probably will reach out, see if I can get a brand new one, but I'm still going to show them off for this video. But you can see on one side, you've got Let's Eat featuring uh, Ignited Chica and the cupcakes. On the other side, you've got a bookshelf, and on the back, 
you of course have him peering in through the doorway. Now let's go ahead and show off the bad boy. There he is. Now what's interesting about the Ignited Freddy box is that all of the quotes, you can see him in the bedroom in the first level, all of the quotes are actually from Nightmare Freddy in Ultimate Custom Night. No light can save you now, as well as I am remade. The full quote is I am remade, but not by you, by the one you shouldn't have killed. I have always been hiding in your shadow. They do kind of fit with Ignited Freddy, I mean it's a little creepy, but I do kind of wish they had some T-Jock references instead of random Nightmare Freddy quotes from Ultimate Custom Night. But here is Ignited Freddy, his figure does look absolutely amazing, you can see just how much detail they put into his withering, some wires down at his knee joint, his cut off ear, he has no hands, he's missing his bottom jaw, just a whole bunch of detail with this guy, he looks absolutely fantastic. I do gotta find a better way to show off all these merchandise in these videos. But there he is, T-Jock Ignited Freddy. And now outside of the fanverse, I did recently get two other FNAF figures that came in. The first one is Gold Chrome Freddy, and the second one is 8-Bit Ryan with Music Man. Very quickly, let's take a look at Gold Chrome Freddy. He is actually identical to the FNAF 1 Freddy figure, except, as you're gonna see in a hot second, he is instead made out of a metallic golden chrome. And outside of having a spectacular golden shine, he, of course, was only limited to 24 hours, so he is probably one of the rarest FNAF merchandise we've had in a very, very long time. Definitely, by far, is going to be the rarest piece of FNAF U2's merchandise, and he looks absolutely amazing. You can see just how shiny he is. Oh my god, you can see, like, every reflection in my room. <laughs> and now, quickly, let's also take a look at 8-Bit Ryan, featuring the teeny wind-up music man from Security Breach. This is his sleeve. Just a bunch of mechanical wires, it looks like. Opening the box up. This is also my first time opening this. Ooh, look at that. On one side, you have Ryan in front of, I think that's the planet outside of Phaser Blast in the main lobby, or the atrium. And on the back, you've, of course, got the center stage. Encapsulated in this figurine is the very moment that I realized my true terror of Music Man. With hands assembled into symbols, a mechanically endured grin, and spider-like legs that echo off the teeny ventilation shaft more than centimeters from you as you run <sighs> for your life, it's no wonder my phobia was born. Here's the other side, never trust a quiet vent. The quote on the top... Fear contained within. Looks like the background is just a bunch of stars, and now let's move on to the actual figure itself, which is pretty frickin' huge. I mean, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. So you've got 8-Bit Ryan crawling out of a vent, with Music Man slowly chasing behind him. Look at the detail on him. This is the other side of the vent, nothing too special. You got Music Man attached, hanging on for dear life, and of course you've got Ryan running away for his dear life. <laughs> This is such a unique figure, I love it so, so much. And now with all of the figures out of the way, and now let's move on to the brand new Chibi plushies, featuring the FNAF 1 gang and also the gang from Security Breach. We do have the Vanny sitting plushie right up there, and now we can move on to the Chibi plushie. Starting off with FNAF 1 Freddy, this is the lad. His hat looks a bit deflated, but that might just be mine. Oh, uh, huh. Again, hopefully that's just mine. But other than that, he looks so cute. I love him. I love the stylization of these plushies. They look so, so adorable. He's even got a little tail at the end with a Freddy U2's tag. Honestly, not too, too much to talk about with these plushies. But again, I think they all look pretty adorable. Moving on to Bonnie. As you can see, he's got those big old floppy ears, which it looks like. Oh yeah, you can move around a little bit. <laughs> you can make him stick upright. Or I think they're intended to flop down. Just like this, give him a bit more cute aesthetic. Bright red bow tie, he also has a tag, all of them have tags. This is Bonnie, I love the flapping ears. I also love that you can make them stick upright, but I think they look better flopped down. Makes them look a bit more cute. Moving on now to Chica, and Chica looks pretty interesting. She's got her bib, which you can flip up. Uh, sorry Chica, I didn't mean to expose you like that. She's got some tuft hair at the top, some cute eyelashes, cute beak. Uh, she also has a ribbon at the back of her bib. Here's her tag too. This is Chica. Again, I'm not meaning to expose you, Chica, but she also has little uh, chicken feet. Someone who's not afraid to be exposed, though, is Foxy. Why, oh why, does he have this little tuft of hair at his, on his chest, huh? I can't even complain, because it's not like I hate it. I just think it's a weird design choice. <laughs> Honestly, it's more amusing than anything, but he's got his eye patch. He also has some tuft hair at the top here. Those ears, he's got his hook. Metallic feet coming out of his shorts, and also... Uh, there's his tag. 
and here's his tail. <laughs> so yeah, that's Foxy. Again, looks adorable. I freaking love all these guys, but uh, this is just a little weird to me. So that is all of FNAF 1. Now let's move on to Security Breach, starting off with our boy Glamrock Freddy. Bright orange color. Look at all that face paint. They even got the earring on his ear and the ribbon on his top hat, lightning bolt on his tummy, and also the, the straps on his wrist. Again, just fantastic detail all around. And even his tag is cool detail. It's got his face paint and his lightning bolt. That's awesome. That's Glamrock Freddy. Oh, and also the shoulder pads. Moving on to the big boy now, Montgomery Gator. Look at how freaking massive this guy is. Also, his belt's being weird. A bit loose, but I can easily fix it. There we go. Again, you've got the bands on his wrist, the shoulder pad. Uh, looks like he is missing his lightning bolt on his snout. Sunglasses. He's got some freckles and awesome rocking mohai. Mohai? <laughs> Mohawk? I have no clue where Mohai came from. And also a gigantic tail at the back. And also, there's his tag. And they did give him pants this time. If you remember, the figure for Monty didn't have any pants. And also, if you're super careful, you can lift up the sunglasses. And he does have the U2's eyes under there. Now, this next plushie is actually Glamrock Chica. And I've seen a lot of hate on my girl Glamrock Chica. Honestly, I don't think the plushie looks that bad. I think in the promotional images, it definitely looked a bit strange, but in real life, it actually looks pretty dang good. Again, a lot of detail on the leggings, also her body, the face paint, the bow, the earrings, the shoulder pads, again, the wristbands, they all look so, so, so good. No tail at the back. I can't remember if Glamrock Chica does have a tail, but she doesn't on this plushie. A lot of tuft of fur at the top. There's her tag, because I keep showing them off. Really cute. The last plushie for this video, and also the last product overall for this video, is the Roxanne Wolf plushie. This might be my favorite in the entire collection. Again, just the amount of detail they have, again, on the leggings, on her arms, the shoulder pads, her suit, the eyelashes, the earrings, the green tuft of fur at the top, the eyelashes, it all just looks so good. My only complaint, I would say, is that they kind of cheaped out. They went with the Funko route of doing her hair and just had a really, really thin piece of cloth that you just pull up. It doesn't look awful, but it can definitely like crease at the top. So in some areas it can look a bit meh, but you can also see her tail back here and also her tag. But that is my girl Roxanne as well. Fantastic plushie to end it off and fantastic plushies and figures all around. So that's going to do it for this giant U2's haul of products. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We honestly are getting a whole bunch of merchandise recently. So much so it's difficult to make reviews for them all. For example, the snaps, I do have all of them and also the brand new tie dye stuff and also all the FNAF AR plushies. I have a whole bunch of new products. It's just, it's difficult to make review videos on them. So I might keep doing giant haul videos where I just do one big video showing off the snaps and all the new tie-dye products and also all the new FNAF AR figures. So it's a very good time to be a FNAF merchandise collector. Tell me, are you thinking about picking up any brand new FNAF products? Once again, a huge shout out to U2s for sending me the Fanverse figures for free. And they did also send me something else, but that is gonna have to be for a later video. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.